Hello everyone, today we're going to be cooking. I'm going to be baking brownies and I'm also going to be making the Taiwana coffee, also known as whipped coffee. I am so late to the trend because I feel like everyone in this world has made this coffee now and I haven't tried it out yet. Which is kind of crazy because I am an avid coffee lover. I love lattes, I love sweet things, I love desserts, and this is just like my cup of tea. I think the reason why I haven't tried it out is because I used to have a hand mixer that would make this process so much easier. But my sister took it to her place and I don't have it anymore. So I was like, I don't want to actually like stir it for a thousand times. But... We're doing it today and I have a milk frother, like a hand frother and people say that you could use that to mix it up so I'm gonna try it and hopefully that works because I actually don't want to mix it I know my arm's gonna fall off so yeah I am also going to be making brownies I'm actually going to be making it with yes, black beans I know that sounds a little gross but I've made this recipe before and I remember it being pretty good. So I am going to be making healthy brownies. I haven't had any caffeine today because I was planning on making this video. It is currently 1.15. Haven't had my morning coffee and I am low-key dying. So we're going to make this coffee first and then we're going to get energized and then make the brownies. I did watch some YouTube videos on this so... Hopefully this works out. So I'm going to filter out all the... You guys see this instant coffee packet has that white stuff. I think it's like sugar and something that's supposed to make it taste like milk. Okay, we're going to put in a little bit at a time because I heard it's better to work with little water so I have that much in there It smells so good right now Oh wait, I didn't add sugar I'm an idiot Let's add sugar Okay, now we mix Here's my milk frother. Got it from Amazon. Oh my god, I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna move it into this cup because I can't really use a frother in this. Like, there's barely. Do I need more water? This looks like there's barely anything in here. Maybe it gets bigger when I. Make it all wet. Anyways, how is everyone doing? I feel like recently I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube videos other than like the daily vloggers that I watch. And it's really hard for me to start a TV show. I've tried so hard. I even got HBO free trial to watch different shows, but I just can't get into it for some reason. Everyone's been talking about Itaewon class. I watched the first episode and I couldn't watch it. I don't know why. I need the first episode to be good. If it's not good, I can't watch it. So for some reason, that drama didn't click with me. I couldn't watch it. Everyone's talking about Tiger King and Kingdom. But like, I don't really like scary stuff. So that's not really my cup of tea. Yeah, and like other OG shows that people watch, there's like eight series and I can't commit to watching all of that. So it just doesn't even make me want to start. So recently I've just been watching people like Alicia Marie and Miss Remy Ashton. They've been doing a lot of vlogs. So I've just been watching that. Been listening to a lot of podcasts because my eyes are tired from like watching stuff all the time and for my internship i'm always staring at the screen so i need a break also update i think it's working oh 
I think my frother is like not working anymore because it's getting thick that it can't like move around. Oh my god. Uh, it's getting thick but not whipped. Okay, we're going to move back to this. We're taking things seriously. Oh my god. We're getting closer. Oh my god. Okay. In Korea, I had a few like personal training sessions with a trainer. And he told me that my back is super weak. Like my shoulders, my back, like I have no muscles. So I've been working on my back and my shoulders and like my arms and i just realized that when you're doing this like open your chest squeeze your back and then do it like this is a really good workout so make sure you do that when you're doing this you'll get a free workout unintended workout I think my problem is that it worked, but I didn't get a lot of the whipped Like the ratio is a little off I don't have a lot of the whipped coffee part and I just have a lot of milk Maybe I should have used like three packets. I don't know But before I taste the coffee, I kind of want to taste this by itself It's actually very bitter and now I'm concerned oh, Maybe I should have taken a picture Okay, I'm back. Hmm. Why do I not taste anything? I feel like I failed. Like I don't taste the coffee. I'm sad. I'm like actually sad. And I just got coffee on my sweatshirt! <gasps> and my pants! Oh my god! <gasps> oh. This is why I don't do anything. I am so sad. This is not worth it. Do you guys see that? This is what I get. We're trying to be trendy. I mean, it was good. It wasn't anything special. But I think I did something wrong. Let me know what went wrong. Point it out for me and I'll try it again. And hopefully that will actually impress me. But now I'm going to make my brownies because I am sad and Brownies will definitely make me feel better. So let's do that. I'm probably going to need an actual cup of coffee because that did not do it for me. So we got all our supplies. I have this post-it note with instructions. We're going to need a blender. Got that. I need to preheat the oven, but it's going to make a lot of noise, so I'm just going to do that when I'm done mixing everything. We're going to have to drain and rinse black beans. And conveniently, this one has the opener. Thank you. I love when cans have that. So I recently filmed a vlog and I realized how high my voice was when I was editing. I didn't realize when I was actually talking to the camera. But in that video, I am a whole, I'm a different person. My voice sounds so different. Like my voice is like, I don't even want to try it now, but it was at least three tones higher than in my normal voice. I was like, what the heck? Like, who do I think I am? And I think that happened because 
I've been in quarantine for like the past three weeks and I haven't really been speaking. Like I've been talking to my parents obviously, but then I have a different voice when I speak Korean also. Like my voice gets higher when I speak Korean, but then my normal English voice is like pretty low. But I think I forgot how to speak. So in my last video, I was not speaking with my normal voice. I thought that was pretty funny. I used to hate coconuts, but recently I've been slowly getting into them. When I was in Vietnam, I had I was obsessed with coconut lattes. It was so good and I thought it was because it was just like in coffee and it was pretty sweet. So I thought that's the reason why I was okay with it being coconut. But like, I recently got this coconut oil so I can make banana bread. And I, as soon as I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of really, really like this smell. And yeah. I still don't like coconut water. Like, I cannot do that thing. But coconut oil, or like coconut scent is slowly growing on me and the taste I guess is growing on me too, slowly. Also, I am really bad at following directions. So whenever I'm like cooking and there's a recipe, I'll look at it, but I don't really follow it 100%. So I end up failing a little bit, but I never learn my lessons. I never follow directions. So even though they tell me to put one fourth cup I'm not even, I'm using a 3 fourth cup and I'm not really like measuring out the thirds of it. I'm just eyeballing everything. I made myself another cup of coffee. This is my usual coffee recipe with oat milk and a shot of espresso. Oh, yeah, that is good. Also, I am doing this during my lunch break. I have an hour now. I have like 25 minutes left, so I don't know what I'm actually going to eat my lunch. <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys and for me because I love brownies. These are scary because you never know how much is going to come out. Oh my... Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> What happened? Also, I already know that this video is going to be a pain to edit. So if this video actually makes it out to the public, please leave a comment below telling me um, good job for editing and actually sitting through like an hour worth of footage of me just talking, rambling. Because you know how when you listen to yourself talk or when you like watch a video of yourself, you just cringe? Well, that happens to me too and I have to do it weekly. That's why I like making travel vlogs because I don't have to listen to myself talk. And I like when I vlog with my friends because that's more like capturing memories. But sometimes when I'm filming like a slang video or I'm filming a video like this where I'm just literally talking by myself, it's a little hard for me to edit because I know it's entertaining when I edit it the right way, but it's just like really hard for me to sit through it when I'm editing. Also, I'm working with Cake again. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys probably have heard me talk about the app before, but it's an app where you can learn English phrases by watching little video clips of your favorite YouTubers, your favorite, I don't know, online content. And this app used to be only for Korean people learning English, but now they have expanded their audience and you should definitely check it out if they have a version of the app for your first language. If you guys could leave in the comments below, if you've always wondered what to say in English in certain situations or anything that you want to learn English-wise from me, leave them in the comments below. It is your time right now. And I'm going to make a video answering some of those questions and I'm also going to be making content for the Cake app so you guys can go over there and learn English with me. So please, 
participate and let me know. I think this is now looking good. We're now going to add chocolate chips. This is what happens when you don't follow instructions. I don't know why I don't have enough. But we're going to add more chocolate chips. And hopefully the brownie will rise. I'm a little sad, like why does that not fill it up? Looking good. So my brownies are done, but I feel like they're more like soft cookies than brownies. But the good thing about brownies is that even when you fail, they taste really good. So I'm going to taste this end piece. Like see how thin it is? It is basically a soft cookie, but I don't mind it. Mm. I remember the very first time I made it, it was so good. I don't know what I did wrong. It's still really good, but I can still taste a little bit of the bean texture. I think it's because I didn't blend as much. Pretty good though. Thank you guys so much for watching this random cook with me video. I will link this recipe down below if you want to try it yourself and see if you can get this recipe to work. Make sure to leave a comment below asking me English questions and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. I'm gonna go eat my brownies now. Bye.